So you want to connect your Samsung watch to your iPhone? Well, you came to the right place because in today's episode, I'm going to tell you all about what works and what doesn't work with connecting your Samsung watch with an iPhone. Hey guys, my name is Amar Azub and welcome back to another episode. As you probably may know that I recently moved from using Android devices, specifically Samsung, to the iPhone 12 Pro. And alongside the Samsung devices that I used to use, I was using the Samsung watch, of course, which is the Galaxy watch. And after moving to the iPhone 12 Pro, a lot of you saw me in videos using the Galaxy Watch with the iPhone and you were like, whoa, how is that like? And in today's episode, I'm gonna tell you how is that like? And I'm gonna tell you what works and what doesn't work. Let's start with what works. The main reason why people get a smartwatch in the first place is because they wanna receive notifications on their watch and make some calls. Unfortunately, that works using it with the iPhone. I even sometimes receive notifications faster using it with the iPhone than when I was using it with the Samsung. Samsung. And phone calls worked really well also with the watch, but you have to do an extra step to make the calls work, which is you have to connect your phone with an extra Bluetooth device, which is also the watch itself. So what you need to do is go to the Bluetooth settings and you're gonna find two Galaxy Watch options and you have to connect it with both of them. It's gonna be connected to one of them if your watch is already connected to the phone itself. So just connect it to the other one. For switching music, yes, you can switch between music and play and pause, do all the good stuff on your watch using the iPhone. What also works on your watch is all the health features and everything works on it like steps, calories, floors, heart rate, stress, even sleep tracking and all your exercises, which I don't do much. But if you want to track them on your phone, you need to download the Samsung Health app, which is not a big deal to me. And that leaves us with what doesn't work using the Galaxy Watch with an iPhone. There are some few annoying things that don't work on my watch. So yes, I'm receiving notifications on the watch, which is great, but I can't do anything else about it. I can't reply to any notification or any message. I can't mark it as red, which is one of the things that I really got used to when I was using the watch with the Samsung devices. And because it's a Samsung watch, of course, it's gonna work best with Samsung. So for example, when I used to set an alarm with the Samsung device, I was at least able to snooze or stop the alarm from my watch. But you can't do that with the iPhone. I used to use the find my phone feature a lot with my watch and the Samsung device but you can't use it with the iPhone. The only way that you can use that feature is by leaving the Galaxy Watch app open. Also, one of the things that is really annoying is not being able to use a Samsung Pay on my watch. I used to use Samsung Pay on my watch a lot of times just because I didn't want to get my phone out of my pocket, but now I need to get my phone out of the pocket and use Apple Pay all the time. And the last thing that it doesn't have is the flexibility in the settings. On the Galaxy Watch app on your iPhone, there's a lot of features that are missing, like changing and getting the watch faces, choosing which apps that you want to receive notifications from, and managing and getting apps for the watch itself. And that's been it for today's episode. I hope I helped you out a bit. If I did, give it a sub and don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See ya!